Okay, so here in our camera we have our patient Leah with the virtual reality headset on. And uh, if she moves her head around, we get to view what she sees on the screen here. And her view is, of course, all in 3D. So let's choose a game. We're going to choose Pepper Picker here from the list and play it for a couple minutes. So um, we're just going to pretend that Leah's left eye is very weak. So I'm going to choose the dominant eye right and click yes. So in order to play this game and do it right, she'll have to use, she'll have to start using the left eye to find the vegetables. So we're going to do uh, this mode. And the other thing I'm going to do is blur the right eye a little bit here. And we'll start it. And we're going to pick two minutes for the length of the game. Okay, Leah. And I'm going to just get rid of the plants here to make it easier to find. So her job is to find the peppers, grab it with the hands, and then drop it in the basket. So it forces her to judge how far these objects are. If she's not judging correctly, then she'll miss them. And if I want to make it harder, Okay, so it, it's a little hard to, to do it with the blur, so I'm just going to remove that. Click apply. Now she has equal clarity with each eye. And you can see her right eye over here sees her own hand, but her left eye can see the produce. And there she goes. And I'm going to make it a little easier. I'm going to make the produce bigger. And also get rid of this mode where she sees her hands through one eye and the produce through another. Let's try that. Now she's going to see. Now she's going to see her hands and the vegetables through both eyes, which makes it a lot easier. There you go. Okay, let's try another game here. I'm going to do bubbles. So this is another one which will help uh, stimulate both eyes working together. Her job is to figure out which bubble is the one in front and then just pop it with her finger here. Um, if she misses consistently, um, it'll be a situation where we can change it to make the closest one pop out more. Are you getting that, Leah? No? Got it on there? Okay. Let's do... So now she's working with the controllers to pop each bubble in order of closest to farthest. And if I want to make it harder, I can just slide this over. And what this does is it changes how far apart each are. Good job. So this game works on depth perception and eye-hand coordination as well. I can bring, if it's a child whose arms are a little bit shorter than an adult, I can bring the arm length in, which makes the bubbles appear closer to her so she doesn't have to reach quite as far. Um, and then I can also change the background to something different. Put her in a world, different world here. Okay. So I'll just close it up here. And uh, so these are just a few of the games out of many that we can do with our patients here in our office. There's also a home version that we can set up for people with this as well. It's all brand new to our office and uh, we're really excited that we can offer it to our patients now.